Look, fear is debilitating. And many people use fear as a way to manipulate other people, persuade, uh, as a way to enslave others. Now, when I say fear, I mean um, something that isn't really real, that can really hurt you, and yet we, we become gripped by it and threatened by it. You've heard this. You've heard this phrase, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. That's exactly right. I started off with fear is debilitating. It also has an element whereby when one has succumbed to fear, that their, rash, their reasoning, their way of rationalizing circumstances and situations are, are, seem to go out the window. Their ability, your, your ability to reason when you are gripped with fear is non-existent. Why am I going there with this, with this particular topic? I tell you, people are very intimidated when they hear the truth. And even more so now, I gather, I'm just saying this experientially, even more so when I tell them the truth. I've caused people to go buy a gun. And I knew that when they bought, when they bought the gun, I've caused people to wear a gun to, to uh, showcase a weapon just so I can possibly be afraid first of all I'm going to make this clear and, and, and I hope that many of you can glean from what I'm about to say now you've heard this before guns don't kill people people kill people now with that fact and that is a fact think about people now if you think about people from my from my standpoint from my perspective I've I've been in prison three times uh, I've, I've ran the street uh, with drugs and 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 robbers and killers and and people just didn't give a uh, uh, give a damn about themselves or other people I've ran with people like that And I can tell you right now, many of those people had they had a gun in their hand, and I've had I've had guns put on me twice. Actually, twice in my whole life, I've had a gun actually pointed at me, and a guy threatening me, threatening to shoot me. One guy was threatening to shoot me right in the head. He pointed it right in my head. This was many years ago. I was uh, about. I was about 20, I was about 22, 23 years old. I would say that he was about, he was probably a, year, a couple of years younger than me. Yeah. He didn't shoot me. In fact, he wanted me to leave the block and I left walking away and he didn't like that at all. So he shot the gun in the air because he wanted me to run, you know, he wanted me to be afraid. When I think about what I just said, guns kill people, people don't kill people. Just because someone has a gun, you know, you gonna have you have to have the balls to pull the trigger on somebody. You know, uh, I don't. First of all, I don't watch movies anymore. I do know about John Wick and these other people, these other killers in movies, the people that want to aspire to be like these people. These are these people's heroes. The guy with the gun killing everybody. Well, th those are actors. This dramatization, it's not real, just like fear. 
Now, granted, there is some healthy fear. Don't go playing with a, a, a copperhead or, or a water moccasin or king cobra. <laughs> All those are snakes. I don't know what or why. <laughs> don't play with snakes. <laughs> Be afraid of snakes. The kind that, that crawl on the ground and the kind that walk around on the ground. There's a healthy fear, but then there's uh, there's many things in life that that come up that want to try to instill fear in you that we should not not even give it give it place at all in our lives. Don't be fearful. I love you guys. I'll talk to you next time.